Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Steven Universe Save the Light. I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion, and in the last episode, we started exploring the strawberry battlefield? Is it the rose battlefield? Oh, here's the treasure we're looking for. Yeah, I finished one of the fights um, in, uh, off screen, so we could then just explore un uninterrupted. But here we are. And we got a bunch of good stuff here. Fry bits, got money. And we, ex we got everything in this zone, which is very nice. Um, earlier, uh, Peridot off screen actually fell in the ground, which was kind of funny. And that's pretty much it. I don't really have anything else exciting to share. But with everything here, explore, we can move on to the next zone. Super exciting. Well, I mean, this is a pretty big level, so we're probably gonna have many zones. Hopefully we can clear out one area on this episode. I feel like the Great North could, took us Onward, quite a team. long time to explore. And you know what? I'm I'm probably not going to 100% the game on screen, but I do enjoy kind of exploring in this game. Or at least I, I finished the mobile version of, the, well, not the mobile, like the prequel or the first game in the series uh, on telephone. I finished it at 100, like I completed it like 100% of it. All right. Here we because go. Because it was quite a bit of fun to go through the mazes and uh, try and find stuff. And the monsters would stay the same and you get so much more powerful and it just doesn't need... Well, if we're seeing all these new baddies, at least that probably means she's close. That's how it works in video games anyway. Such a strong behavior for a Hessenite. Really? Well, yeah, Hessenites are important military commanders. It wouldn't exactly be normal procedure for one to go around sightseeing. And if what you describe is accurate, it sounds like she could be THE Hessenite, making the whole thing even more ridiculous. HA! What you talking about, Perry? Only one of the most legendary war heroes on Homeworld. Actually, now that I think about it, it was the war on this planet that made her famous. Wielding the prism, she handedly decimated countless rebellion fighters and... Uh... Oh, uh, what I mean meant to relay is she should have more important things to do than traveling around the Earth like this. Do you think she's using the prison to build up her army again? Well, then she's the one unorganized commander, leaving her troops all over in silly places like this. Then that should be the... Uh, th that. Uh, then what could she be up to? She came to back to get the prism and now she has it. But she's going all over the world instead of leaving or attacking. Well, I certainly wouldn't know. Mysteries on top of mysteries! I wish we would have seen the facial expressions, but I had to go behind the frickin' bush and hide everything. And what are these walls? I feel like I can go behind them. Maybe not. I see a treasure already. Nice. When we can go down here. Aha! Secret area. Betcha they didn't think we'd find this one so easily. Ooh, secret. What's the, oh, that unlocks um, special zones. I don't know if we've, have we actually unlocked or found more locked zones? I actually don't remember. I know there was one in the forest level, which we explored already. And how are these going? We can upgrade this. We can, all right, we can actually upgrade all the weapons now. Neato burrito. Should probably jump up there. And, ah, I was hoping to do that because then by using our five stars, we could actually take out the, uh, the mage. That's unfortunate. He's got one perfect. Oh, and it was a freebie. That gives us this. It won't kill it, though. Nice, another... Uh, well, I could get lucky. No, it doesn't deal enough damage. Look at that. We're so close. Ooh, nice. Good job. The perfects basically give a bunch of... Uh, what could I do? I kind of want to build the gun. I kind of wish it would. I could guarantee that it would hit the wizard, but. Ah uh, no! I tried to build the shield first. Oh well, looks like I've got to waste on our two stars on this. Ooh, okay. It wasn't much of a waste then. Trying to take out this guy. Perfect. No freebie, but. So tap, tap, tap. And that's too that's too far right now to heal all of us. So at least he's healing a little bit. 
Uh, I can't stop this thing, so maybe I can get a perfect and a freebie. Uh, all right. I like when that happens. So, no, I don't know. I don't think we're strong enough, anyone is, to... I mean, except for her, obviously. Got an extra point, so we can actually hit this thing. Spicy. Yeah, as soon as it gets on its butt, we just press and we're good to go. So it's kind of nice. Oh, no. God, I'm sucking today. Usually I can get, like, perfects like crazy, but... Not today. We need our metal friend here. Oh, no. Okay, find someone. There you go. Oh, it has a counterattack. Yay, give it to... You get the kudos. Kudos. All right. Kill yourself. You're not looking for that. 30. That's all right. Let's just finish it so we don't take more damage. But the perfect and a freebie and a bunch of stuff. Man, this was a really fruitful um, battle. And no pun intended there, honestly. Landmine. Build a landmine near Peridot. If an enemy approaches close enough, boom! Nice. Plus, she gets upgraded, Welcome obviously. To my parry page. Uh, do I want to bring her up the year? Uh, this is going to cost three. Unlocks repairability, allowing Peridot to fully repair. I don't think that I want to fully repair, but Mega Meep more. Specific targeting range of Peridot. Yeah, I think that's always good. Make her slightly stronger. Video games. Only one point, so no thanks. Study and training? I can Six do points. This. Four points. What does this do? Connie's study ability now applies a defense bonus. And it's just basically bonus. Connie can now achieve lucky blocks, which block 25% more than normal. Well, that's always kind of neat. And these, when Connie initiates protect on a teammate, they gain temporary health. That's actually really handy, and I kind of want to go get it. Let's do that, because she does have protect, and protect is very handy. Oh, wait, Greg. I may be Did we skip you? Hair, but the magic's still there. Oh, it's going to cost four. We need one more level for you to be a little bit more useful. Yeah, because if Connie can start protecting it more often, like, for example, when Peridot is building... Treasure! Okay, that's a lot of treasure. Token, a bunch of bear stuff. Hey, come on. There you go. And some ranch bacon bits, or whatever that was. Can we jump on these walls? We sure can, not that it's gonna do us any good. Unless they can do us some, no. Those of invisible walls. Look, Connie and Dad are stuck again. Actually, in the previous, not in the previous episode, but in between episodes, I actually got Peridot to fall through the ground, and when I selected her, it was actually still underground. I wonder if I could have done anything with that. I doubt it, but... Oh, here's a piece. Something tells me he's going to be a big monster. Nope, nothing. Was it really that easy? Just jump around, jump, double jump, double jump, and double jump. There you go. We don't know how many are in the area, though. It usually talks a lot, but... Okay, well, I see one there, and there's a... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, let's just be quick and go fight him right away. I don't know how good this thing is. But I definitely want her to build a cannon. Yeah, let's suddenly make it so it's hitting two people. Give me a moment. Oh no. Protect. No, protect costs three points. Alright, well I guess we're gonna bubble her then. She doesn't need healing though, so we're okay. What's that thing over there? Okay, well. Actually it didn't hit anyone, luckily. That actually hurt quite a bit, so we'll take care of that one next, I think. No, not you. You! Take care of this. Oh, and it's actually a strong one. Look at how much damage that took. 
Four picks in a row. Oh yeah, freebie. I could have. Oh, all right. Well, I guess we'll just take this one for now. And you know what? I will take Stevens. Push him. Oh, I pushed him out of range. That's actually very stupid of me. All right, a perfect. That boosted our thing a little bit more. Let's go finish this one. A bunch of stuff. Uh, Dad can start a healing a jam, and then Steven and bubble him. Now we're bubble buddies. We've got a good plan going on here. Over, I guess. Oh, okay, I guess the bubble wasn't enough. Unless that like was double damage. Steven, check this out. And then I definitely want to get Connie to hit this thing. The perfect. No freebie though. Ah. Now let's see. Can I actually push this thing off the edge here? Oh, wow, that was really slow. These, bu this, these buttons are super spongy, I find. Yeah, we need to figure something out about... That Ooh, is... Tough crowd! <laughs> tough crowd indeed. Uh, Dad, this takes deal. deal. And then Connie, finish this thing. And I'm not good enough to actually finish it, so we're gonna have to get Steven to do it. Okay. Why does he keep doing that? Why is the pathing all screwed up all of a sudden? Okay, so we're healing. Not it's not great healing. Okay, that hit dad. We can heal dad. Oh my god, now this thing's going even more. And we actually finish him. What's going on here? Maybe we can actually. Uh, of course, our path thing's all screwed up. Yes! Whew. Okay! We don't have to worry about that thing shooting us when I'm trying to carry around a piece of metal. Uh, it's for that treasure over there, so... Um, oh, I know! Oh, you. you. Wasn't hiding anything. Now, what I'm wondering is... What exactly are we... Doing with this thing? How far do I have to take it? Okay, there is an actual... Uh, uh, maximum distance, good to know. And put it on top here. Can I put it in here? Oh gosh. Oh, we can do that. Thank you. Thank the maker. Thought I might have ruined it. Good things up forever. Okay, uh, Steven, can you maybe double jump? Hmm. Oh, well, look at that. There's actually a special one right there. That is too high, I bet you. Guys, can you please just move out of the way? That it's too high to jump on, even with another block. But put it in this hole, and voila! What's in here? Give it to me. Orange key. Yeah, she's definitely going nuts for that one. Um, can she break these? She can. Thoughtful gift. Perfect. I get to know we can break jars like Zelda guys just like Zelda all right so we got this orange key so obviously we'll go and open it how about and anything special in here except for oh there's nothing special I mean there's a green chroma And obviously the tungsten for the story. There you go. 
I don't think there's anything else here. I don't see anything shiny or any secret passageways. Let's jump up here. It usually tells us what you got. We got all the treasures. Uh, there's one more like secret area and then there's the uh, light, the shiny Steven or light Steven or whatever, whatever he's called. Okay. We're that's taking this view right now. Sure, let's walk up here. Because that's the thing. Oh, there's Shiny Steven. Um, I'd usually give it to Connie, but let's give it to Steven so he can catch up a little bit. So that's Light Steven. That we've... There's something back here, I think. It seemed that way, but I guess not. Unless I can jump. Oh! Metal piece. Okay. Oop. Heck, do I jump? Well, there you go. Friends are here, so. Honey, you break this, please. And this clod needs to move the block back this way. Soon enough. Really know where I'm supposed to push this thing. Let's actually just drop them. Come here and see. Am I ah okay, we're supposed to make a bridge? I'll make a bridge. be a little difficult especially with this quad exactly we got it there you go we can get pushed off which is a little scary but this one actually can probably push this one ah oh, that didn't work at all. Well then you build your gun then, please. Give me a moment. I don't know if that brought him uh... Okay, it went for that, so that's okay. Now. Yay, okay, we got one gun going. Oh, this guy actually hurts quite a bit. Ow. Oh, we need to protect Steven. We don't really need to protect Steven, but... It'll give us regen. And I think... Dad could use a bubble. Who loves bubbles? The way I see it. Yeah! Oh, I thought that perfect... I thought that perfect stop would cause them to... Okay, so Steven, you could probably push this thing right off. Yes! What I wanted... I want Connie to finish this thing. Well, it's gonna take a while, but... Two perfects like this. And this thing is strong. Dang it. Well, 
Don't they have a regen? Guess not. One more perfect. And one more perfect. Come on, give me some freebies. Three perfects in a row. Where are my freebies? That's baloney. Uh, again with the too late. What's going on with my skills? Four. Five. Uh, oh, that really hurts. What's wrong with Dad? <laughs> Connie, I've got your back. Ouch! You look way happy there. We're gonna try and push Dad off again, so let's now bubble, bubble him. Buddies. So then, when he goes for it. You can do it perfect, it doesn't move, and then the gun just takes him out. Okay, thank you, gun. That was a huge help. We're gonna end up finishing the two of them. Over here. Steven! Are you leaving? We haven't found all the tungsten in this area. You want me to finish my work on the terminal, right? Ah, uh, dang it. I actually did not mean to do that. I hope we'll be able to. Jump back. Okay, we are. Don't really know why though. There you go. What's the other? Where's the other one? Hmm. We found a thing. Oh, that could be a thing. There's a little jumpy area. Nope, no jumpy area there. Is there really no other... Have we really missed a piece of tungsten in this area? We might have. I feel like we got them. There's one up here. One in... Yeah, we came back here. I don't know if it was back here. But the first time we... Might be something though. Oh, it's definitely an invisible wall here. Hmm. Tungsten, tungsten, tungsten. Where could be? Oh, just a butterfly. There's a secret area here. What was in the secret area? Did we missed something. There was tungsten. Uh, not tungsten. There was um, Roma. We fought all the monsters that were here. want to leave then everything's gonna spawn again Woo! yeah we're missing like a secret area or something okay well i feel like at the top top of that thing once we ran up that axe there was definitely something aside from the steven I... So I guess we'll head towards that way again and maybe just maybe there'll be something maybe it was supposed to be underneath it or is there another area that we can kind of like unlock to? And jump up here. Oh look, the strawberries are flat. <laughs> Even bother making them round. They're just surfaces. That's hilarious. They're just billboards. I feel like there'd be something here, but it was just... Which is this? What if I fall in the circle? The hole that we created. Oh, there's absolutely nothing. Tungsten should be somewhere around here. Right? Am I crazy? Oh, there might be something over here that way. Not this way, though. Oh! Excellent, that seems to be all the tungsten in this area. Onward to the next one. Yeah, onward indeed. Hopefully we don't fall in the freaking hole here. They're particularly like super hard. Well, they're hard enough, clearly. Ooh. 
Ooh. Stuff without shadows. Um, it's 25. All right, guys. I'm going to end this episode here just in case there's some sort of boss battle or something here. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Let me know what you think of Steven, Un Steven Universe Save the Light, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.